Hello friends and welcome. You are watching episode number seven of our production line Portland Motor Company Let's Play. My name is Sean and I'm glad you're here with me this morning as I play some video games. So remember the production line isn't an early alpha game, uh, although there haven't been any updates in this series. There probably will be an update before too long. Every day that we don't have one, it means it's more likely that we will have one tomorrow. Um, and usually those introduce some minor changes to the game. We're waiting on a major change right now. Actually, there's supposed to be a, a sub-assembly line for engines. But right now we're stuck with the standard assembly line for engines, which is just fine. We've just upgraded our engine line to include homemade starter motors and flywheels. So we've got those coming in over here. Looks like all of our cars are flowing through at a good pace. No real bottlenecks. Looks like there's a bottleneck over here, but that's just the way that it decides to split things up. I don't know why those cars are really taking so long. Okay, there you go. It's like taking forever to get through there. A little bit of a bottleneck over here with the fit trunk, it looks like. And that is at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. That's right. That's our regulator. Basically, everything is going to be 2 minutes or 30 seconds. We could always... <clears throat> Excuse me. Boy. We could always speed that up a little bit by throwing in some robots, I think. Uh, but right now, we are focusing on researching all the manufacturing so we can get all of our manufacturing done in-house. Plenty of money. Oh my gosh, we've got so much money. Don't even know what to do with it. $9 million. That is a lot of money. Cars are selling. They're getting through all the lines. No problem. Matter of fact, I almost could like move this line shunt some of these guys over here since they're not really using that fit electronics thing very well. Let me do that. Just run a conveyor. It can be a nice long conveyor belt. And help us throw some of that money away. Uh, that's not really what I want to do there. We're going to erase that. And we're going to actually go ahead and erase that because I just don't like that weird... The, didn't like the way it looked. Alright, we're going to run you over here and over here and connect you up right there. So now we'll, maybe we'll start using that stuff over here. Hasn't really, hasn't really been getting a lot of use. Very good, very good. Spread things out a little bit. No, nah, it's not really going to get the cars through any faster. Probably won't make a whole lot of difference. But, uh, you know, like I said, these guys, these, they're bored standing over there. Not getting any cars coming their way. They want to they wanna keep busy. We're not paying you to stand around, read books all day. So yeah, yeah, things are going pretty good. Real happy with, uh, real happy with our cars. It's a complex factory, um, but we have the capacity to uh, increase our car throughput by a little bit right now. Um, and there's plenty of room for further expansion. We could probably increase, probably double our uh, double our production, honestly, uh, at the rate that we're going now. But I would rather worry about upgrading the, uh, you know, getting all of our manufacturing and then getting started on all of our car upgrades. So we've got valve manufacturing down. Let's uh, let's take a look. So right now. We're using four valves every two minutes, so one valve every 30 seconds. We're going to need to manufacture a lot of valves, I think. Uh, fit engine assembly, fit valves, make valves. Each valve takes 40 seconds, so that's not too bad. We just need five of these, and uh, oh, they're a fun shape, too. So there's one, two, three. Four. It's like playing Tetris, sort of. Five. How about like that? There we go. Five factories. So we'll just run resource conveyor. Uh, oh, I don't want to have... Shoot. I guess I don't want to have that one there. Which means I'm going to move that one, too. So make valves. How about like that? And then... Um, no, those are no good. No, that won't work guess there. How about like that? Great. All right. And a resource conveyor, you're going to go there, there, along through there, and up there, and over here, and down. Why don't you connect up over there, too? Very good. And then I will put a resource importer right here, 
and uh, connect that up with a conveyor, although it looks like it already is. I just need to graphically connect it up. And then we're going to connect you along here like that, and voila. Got all that stuff coming in. Configure imports at local only, please. America first. Um, so now we've got those coming in. We've got cars piling up in our uh, piling up in our our uh, thingy, the the uh, showroom. Uh, but that's okay. They'll sell all at once. Somebody will come in and buy a fleet for their office or place department or something like that. Our cars are good for all sorts of purposes. It doesn't have to just be personal use. They're good for government use. They're good for business use. They're good f for Lyft and Ubers and um, uh, uh, destruction derbies, monster truck rallies. All sorts of uses for our cars. Think outside the box, customers. Portland Motor Company is here for all of your unusual and unexpected car needs. All right, make exhaust. Good, we can do that. Ra radiation, man or radiator manufacturing. I feel like that was one that we didn't do before, uh, probably because they were too, too expensive or complicated or something like that. Now, where do we put the exhaust in? Not here with body frame. I feel like we've done that whole thing. Um, is it in chassis? No. Engine? I guess so, yes. All right, engine. Seven minutes to make one exhaust? Wow. And how many fit exhausts do we have? Hopefully just one. Nope, two. Wow. So... We need one every three and a half minutes, and it takes more than seven minutes to make one. Boy, oh boy. So we will need five make exhausts. Oh, and they're huge. Why not? Why not add a little insult to injury there? Can we? Uh, I don't really want to try to smack those in the middle, though. So we're going to smack them over here. Well, there's one, two. Three, four, I guess that wasn't so bad. Can we, no, can't quite squeeze that in there. Five, all right. Resource conveyor. No, go straight across, would you please? There we go, and then there. And we're going to run one that's already connected, so we'll connect that one up there. We'll connect you through there, and through there, and through there. Great, I think that's everything. All right, and that means we can set the exhausts. That's a long way to get down there. Import only, or local only, please. Local only. Well, that one had already been set? No. No, that's the one from the previous uh, previous window. Okay, local only for those. Very good. Buy America first. Uh, resource conveyor. Connect you up here. Sure, why not? That might shorten the path a little bit for those things coming in. Lots of no export rooms over here, which seems a little weird, but... I mean, we do want to over-manufacture rather than under-manufacture. I don't want to have to import any. Actually, I've set it to where it doesn't import any, so... Oh boy, look at all these cars piling up. Do we have to drop our price a little bit? I'll drop it just a little bit. Well, that definitely seem to help start selling them. Probably just coincidence. It may be that we're going to need to start uh, introducing some new models and doing some upgrades before we uh, before we finish doing all of our local manufacturing. But getting the local manufacturing really is the higher priority in my mind. Look at all that manufacturing up there. It's crazy so much. It's almost like there's a little arrow there saying, open this up. You know you want to. You know you want to expand over here. You can do it. Nice try, game. How about all this area that I haven't expanded into, huh? Trying to tell me that I need to expand more? I'll expand you in a minute. Forgot to set my timer. Got that. Solved that problem. Zoom back in here. Hmm, make radiator, okay. Then we can go start steering wheels manufacturer? Sure, why not? Make radiator, what does that take? Well, it takes clicking on the right button, that's the first step. Fit engine. 
Fit radiator. Make radiator. 3 minutes 33 seconds. Well, hey, look at that. They actually match up for a change. That's a surprise. And uh, we probably have two of those going on over here. If I can find it. Oh, yep, sure enough, two of them. Oh, and they're hmm, four wide, huh? So I could throw one in there. Can't quite fit one in there. But you know what? Two right here would be perfect because that fills up that space, that weird little space. We're going to run some resource conveyors through there, just like that, and just like that. There we go, all connected up. Weird that it's importing steel from over there, but okay. That's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. I can't, I can't stop you. And then we're going to come down here to these. Well, that's the exhaust, so nice try, game. Trying to trying to throw me off. Only local, please. Um, I don't know why. Oh, there's no cars in there. Why are there no cars in there? Configure imports only local. Very good. Close you down. Where is our backlog? Is it still all the way at the beginning? We're still just being held to uh, one car every two minutes and 30 seconds, huh? By the... Um, no, it's not even that. Oh, there just is no backlog. Huh. No bottleneck at all. So I could try, try to start making more axles, I guess? That doesn't seem likely. Doesn't seem likely to have any benefit at this point, anyways. Hey, is this thing going to actually give us some usable information for once? No. Don't know how many vehicles we're making per hour. Probably because I'm doing too many, too many little changes to our production line. No export room. Oh, well, I guess that sort of makes sense. Can we get uh, can we get detailed information on our imports and exports? Is that available over in here? Components. Yeah, it doesn't really tell us where they're coming from, which would probably be nice, but... Our biggest import is steel, which makes good sense. This doesn't tell us whether these are exports or whether they're manufactured. I mean, I'm sure... Well, we're probably going through more than 18 axles, 20 axles. Uh, so maybe this is only import, but even that wouldn't make sense because we should have zero on, on those for imports, right? Because since we're making them all ourselves, whereas vents, I mean wheels, we aren't making wheels, but there's only 16. Maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's uh, on, that must be like on hand and not, so consumption per hour would be the one that, that is really... But we're only using four brakes per hour? I find that hard to believe. I think we're making more than two cars per hour. I mean, I know it says not available. But I'm pretty sure we're doing a little better than that. Honestly, I find some of this kind of suspicious, too. Like, are we really having... 30% of our time spent waiting for... Or no route for resources? Or is that waiting for vehicle? That must be waiting for vehicle, but still. 30% for waiting for vehicle? Waiting for line makes sense. Or not waiting for line. No export room. That one makes sense. Plenty of sense. Because there's a lot of no export room. And this one makes plenty of sense. The waiting for line <clears throat> being that small. I would think that waiting for vehicle would be similarly small to waiting for line. Since there's not... Although I guess, you know, you look at these guys... This one sits empty almost constantly. And a lot of these sit empty as well. So that we just did steering wheel manufacture. <clears throat> I don't know why I can't clear my throat today. Gosh, sorry guys. I picked the wrong day to adjust the volume up in this, uh, in this video with these constant throat clearings. It's probably killing your ears. Um, so steering wheel manufacture. Steering wheels are down here. No? Where are they again? They're after the paint. I know that much. Fit steering assembly. Oh. 
Boy, do I need to break the steering assembly down? Have I not done that yet? Shame on me. Steering column, steering wheel. All right, so I would need just one steering column, and I would need three steering wheels. So let's uh, let's put a little block there. We'll wait for these guys to get through. So you're through. I feel like I just redid this section too. I must not have uh, must not have been thinking properly when I did that. That's okay. I'm thinking properly now. For this, for this minute anyways, we'll see how properly I think after I finish deleting all this stuff. Almost there. There we go, great. Okay, so fit steering column, that one's fast, fast and easy. We'll just throw you right there. We don't even need to worry. Actually, maybe if I throw you up here, we can come back around, but that's fine. We're going to move you and move you there. And then we're going to connect up a conveyor. It doesn't look like I need to worry about connecting up a conveyor. And then we're going to put the fit steering wheel, which this one is a little more complicated because we're going to need three of these guys. So we're going to do one. And then we're going to do two. And then we'll do number three. And look at that. They're going to fit in there nice and easy. Oh, oh, well, that's not so good, actually. Let's try it the other way around fit steering wheel, because this thing would be in the way of being able to put the belts in there properly. Fit steering wheel. Oh, this is much better. And it has that cool tiered pattern that, that looks fun. Alright, so you're going to go like that, and then over like that, and then you'll go down, and you'll go down. And then we're going to run resource conveyors. We'll just run those to there. And down to there and down to there and then I need to connect all these back up to where they will feed back into there like that you'll go yeah that's fine like that and then you'll go in like that and now we're all set except you didn't connect up properly so you're gonna go there and you'll go out like that very good all right, so now we go to uh, make steering wheels. One minute and nine seconds, and uh, we need one every two and a half minutes. So that's actually really easy. We don't even need to. Don't even need to get fancy with it. We're just going to make them right here, locally. I will connect these conveyors up a little more closely, like this, and like that. There we go. So now it's going to send them very directly. We're going to change these to only local and only local and only local. Very good. All right, so now all our steering wheels are being manufactured locally. And we should be very close to getting our wheel manufactured. We got a little more a little more time before that one comes through. Wheel manufacturers, we're going to need four wheels every minute 48. So we're going to need like one wheel every 30 seconds. That's going to be, that's going to take up some space, I bet. So do we want to try to do that down here and just import them up this way? Or should we go ahead and open up a new, a new factory chunk? We're going to have a lot of stuff that we're going to need to be manufacturing over here. So you know what? We've got all this extra money. May as well open up this new factory chunk. There we go. Oh, so expensive. Um, and we are not, our profit is not quite as high as it had been. Um, yeah, interesting. It's okay, though. I'm not too worried at this point. We can always increase our car flow going through a little bit. Uh, so we need a new wheel every 30 seconds. Um, fit. Yeah, it's so weird that that's under fit engine. Fit wheels. Make wheels. Um, one minute, huh? So we only really need a couple of those. Is there an import bay over here? Not really, but there's one right there. So we'll just stick these like this and like this. So we really we need one every 30 seconds. And this takes... Well, okay, I guess that'll work. So we have a resource importer right there and a resource conveyor 
like this. There we go. Resources coming in. Resources going out. They're going up to here. Like that. Set you. Configure imports. Only local. Cool. Well, now we've got our own uh, wheel manufacturer. Next up, tire manufacturer. Have that before too long. How's the uh, bottlenecking looking? Very good. Little bottleneck here, but that's because we redid that whole section through there. So it's going to take a little bit of time to work through. But I don't see any concerns with it elsewhere. Cars are not piling up too badly. We're up to $10 million, so that's what I get for complaining about how we weren't making enough money. It's like the game heard me and it's like, all right, all right, I'll help you make more money. Let's sell some of those cars that we've got piled up in the storeroom. How many more manufacturing slots do we have left to research? Um, oh, we're almost done. Oh my gosh, up next, brake manufacture, and then it will be manufacturing complete. Well, there's a good goal for us speed this up a little bit and see if we can get all of our manufacturing done this episode. I think the answer is yes, since basically I just arbitrarily, I mean, I set a timer and everything, but pretty much can just decide when I want to have the episode end. So if we set that goal, I think I could probably meet that goal. What is taking so long, though? Is our research taking a hit somehow? Pick it up, research. You're not helping me out any. Look at all that space for cars to be moving through. Do I dare start trying to uh, double up on our axle? Uh... No, nah, because it doesn't seem like... I mean, there is there is open space down here and everything, but there's not so much, I think, that we need to try to rush the additional additional stuff through. All right, so we are going to do fit engine, fit wheels, fit tires, make tires. So we're going to, it takes five minutes to make one tire, huh? And we need two, so we need one tire every, oh my gosh. Does it take four tires or five tires? Because there, you know, there could be a spare. No, just four. All right, so one tire every 40 seconds. And it takes five minutes to make a tire. So we're going to need like six of these, I guess. Two. Three. Four. No. Five. Six. And then we're going to convey all this stuff up. And put some more conveyors up here and into there and there and then over there like that one more a few more like that there we go and then we will set that to uh, there we go we'll set that to import only local great now we've got all of our tires set up and now all we got to do is wait for our brake manufacturing and uh, we can get that done and then we will be uh, manufacturing um, independent. For the most part, there's some things that we can't manufacture, like steering columns. I don't know why we can't manufacture steering columns. So we can manufacture all these other weird things. But, you know. Now, do we, are we already manufacturing all of our accessories? There we go. Make break. Hey, that rhymes. Make break. Um, so, I guess we'll do that. Not that that really matters. Let's slow the game down because it's just it's so fast when all that stuff is flying by. All right, so three minutes, 30 seconds to make a break. And four of them are needed every two. So I need one every 30 seconds. So I guess that's uh, seven break things that I'm going to need to have. They're in a weird shape as well. Okay. One. Oh, none of those will work, huh? There we go. Two. Three. Four. 
three, four, five, six, seven. Resource conveyor there. And uh, through these areas. Like that, and you're gonna go up and over, and you're gonna go through there. Is there anywhere? Oh, I'm missing down here. And we'll connect you there. Looks like they're all connected up pretty well. Where's the, um, the import thing is all the way over there, so I don't know that it's gonna do any good to connect that up. Look at all these imports coming in. All right, and then break, fit breaks, configure imports, only local. All right, that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed watching me play this game and uh, you're still having fun. If you are, let me know in the comments. I always want to hear from everybody. It's good to know that there are real people out there watching. But I can see the views and I like to see that. So, you know, thank you so much for everybody who watches. I appreciate you subscribing and I will see you next episode. Bye.